Hello, welcome back. We are attempting a reroute of 10th level and hoping that we can get enough health to get everything done by collecting as little attack as possible. 929 is our target number. Uh, we'll end up with 931 just because of because the multiplier is 10. Um, oh, and oh wait, with the really big sword we're above all the thresholds for that, but I think it continues getting better with this gear. Yeah, so one more power gem and we save some more on this Opticon. And that can just kind of wait as long as possible because it's only guarding a blue key. We don't save very much, though. I noticed it's still going to be nearly 3,000. Yeah. And that, that looks to me like we're still not going to have enough. Yeah, it is entirely possible. Um... So this exists, but that costs keys and doesn't give any health. This one is the best because it comes with some health, if we can not take more damage than that. Um, I suppose it would be satisfying for um, for viewers to, to see how the puzzle is done, if we can manage to work it out. Sure, yeah. Uh, yeah, so I think we're like close to the end of this um, this test run, and if it doesn't work... I have some ideas for where we, where we can go back to. Is that a jade golem? It is. Hey, okay, splattered. <laughs> uh, hey, we spent a lot of yellow keys in this room. Um, what was in here? This was before um, we restored to. Uh, to before there was we did there that. was a power gem. There was a power gem in there, so it was necessary. Okay. Cool. Um. All right, let's go to the horrible room. Uh, let's see, so I'm seeing a lot of potions we haven't taken yet. Maybe we should... we could just take inventory, I guess, see what potions are available. Like, if it's... if it's impossible now, then, well, we should figure out how that room works. But anyway, so that's, uh, 1,500... Uh... 2,500... 4,500... Uh, were these gettable? Well, not without taking damage. Yeah. Yes, but we'd, well, we'd want to get them anyway for the keys, so right. we get the potions as well. So adders, um, right, we're not getting over the adder threshold no matter what. Yeah, that's actually pretty high, okay, right. So, oh, well, but I'm using a really big sword, so never mind. What is the adder threshold again? Just remind me. I just want to see if we happen to cross it with this one other power gem. No, no, it's 54 more after that. Okay. I lost count of my potions and lost my place, so... So, 4,500, not including the two in this room. Okay. Um... And, ah. I didn't count those yet, so that's 8,500. Well, I mean, that's enough already if we took no damage at all getting those. <laughs> Which would take some. Alright, but anyway, that says that it is theoretically possible, like... Well, no. it, it doesn't, but <laughs> it says that there is physically enough health to get as much as we would need. So we can't say for sure that we've already lost. Ah, you've already got the blue key in the room to the north. That does make a big difference. Yeah, that's right. So that, that lost 2,000. Ah, and there's another large potion in this room. I want to check something. So a double-brained cortex to 680. We'll take 50 more for that. Just trying to think if this could ever be viable. Like, if this were to blow up, then that's 680, then like 40, then however much a slicer guard does unbrained. Okay, anyway. Not worth thinking about now. The Gunner room again. Sorry, just... This one? To the... No, the Gunner room, so just north of where we are. This? Yeah, I just wanted to double-check that there was no way to bypass uh -huh. the Gunner room. Rattling hook, but <laughs> right. That that would have been so evil if there was. Uh, <laughs> I'm pretty sure it was here or here and not here. If it had been here, it was. It wasn't. It was on the tile southwest of that. Yeah. So, yeah. All right. Uh, I like to go through this now, unless more attack will help. It won't. Okay. This is expensive, but good. And it comes with a yellow key. So this costs, like, two and a half green keys, kind of. 
All right, so... I have not had any additional insights about this puzzle since last time. Um... Let's see. So where to start? All right, so just to restate assumptions. All three of these need to be held when we go in here in order to get through there. This roach can be killed to move guardians. If a guardian is on at least one of these pressure plates, like these two, those two need to clear off on the way out. This one in particular can clear just by walking west if something is in such a position to make that possible. Um, getting it like that would not be easy though. Maybe not possible. Then this one would have to specifically be cleared off by killing this roach to move a guardian, because I don't see any other way to do that unless we had, like, <laughs> the impossible setup of three of these awake in a row here. <laughs> no. There's no way. Uh, also of note, guardians could push mirrors. So if they were, we observed that if there were a guardian here and a mirror here, killing the roach would clear this pressure plate. Uh, can I experiment with... So, I just want to be sure. Guardians do not try to, um... Pathfind through walls or anything. They just, they move like a roach toward the last position the player was in when they killed something. Pretty sure that's right. So, like, if I were to do this... Well... Okay, right, last player position. So, if I did that, they all get stuck. Okay. The reason this was so hard is because killing anything at all... Well, like, if we're using guardians here, then we can't use them here or here, because killing anything at all moves all the rest of them. And they can't be blocked by mirrors, and the only other movable thing in here is these, which is hard to manage. So, I have yet to understand the purpose of the Beetle Queen. Like, we found that we can do stuff like this. Make her lay an egg there. And one uh, here. Just however. Uh, I wouldn't actually take that hit, but whatever. And that does create a little blocked space there for... Let me see if I can just, without worrying about anything else, just get a... one of those eyes trapped there and get through that first door? Or just... No, it would be the second one, but anyway. Um, uh, sure, if I go around that way. So things that would involve. I would take a hit there, which is annoying. And then what? Okay, so sure, that sees me because of the mirror. Like, how would I even make that happen? Maybe like this? Well, no, that doesn't work. Right? So if I take one hit from him, I can get him off me there. I can do stuff like this, but then my sword moves the mirror, and the other guy sees me. Uh... Nope. Nope. Uh... Nope. Not quite. Have to kill a roach egg for that. Yeah, no, I don't see how you could even do that much. Um, it, I think it was possible if we, if you killed the second eye on the north pressure plate, which also helps get the guardians there. And we tried all this, but the problem is then we don't know what to do with the south plate. Mm -hmm. um, so I was trying to figure out if there was a way that like a guardian here could push the mirror there. Oh, hey. Now, wait a minute. What if we killed one of these in this position? Like... Yeah, 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 yeah. so... That, yeah, that could actually be the answer. Then the other mirror goes on the east plate. And then just kill one guardian. Okay, so if this works, then that simplifies a lot of stuff. Um, how do I want to do this? Yeah, I would use that. That west one, because that's the one closest to the entrance to the doors, yeah. might simplify things for later. Right, I would rather if you were on the other side of... I guess I didn't have to move that mirror there yet. It can go just anywhere. 
No, no, no. Okay, so that's how that's done. Now, guardians are released. Uh, somehow. Yeah, you need to use the mirror to protect you from the eye while doing that. Okay, so now... Wake up somebody... Uh, it'd be better if I could face a different way, but I can't, so whatever, let's just see if this works at all. Yeah, no, as soon as I do that, they move off of there, of course. Could I, for example, do this? No, then they move over there and all stack up. Nope. Alright, well, we tried. Well, since I'm in what, here... What, what about if you go back to when you killed the eye on the north plate and instead kill it one northeast of the plate? That's interesting. Uh, hang on, I want to see this behavior first. So do that, they all just cluster up there. Okay, got it. Uh, oh shoot, uh, and I can't undo a reset in this game. Oh man. <laughs> okay, right, so I gets killed one northeast of the plate. Oops. Um, so here. Okay. So they cluster up like that, which is interesting. All right. So now, oh, nobody's on this plate, but that's kind of maybe okay. So the way I'm doing this involves taking a bunch of hits from that, which is annoying. Can't quite get there quick enough. I cannot inspect turn order in this game. Um, okay, so we might actually have something here, though. This is... This is looking like it might be a thing. So if I just play with some guardians for a bit, and I were to do something like this... They end up like that. Yeah, but if I kill one here, this one's going to go around this way. So that doesn't solve any of my problems. Uh, you could block that tower with a mirror and use an eye for the um, eastern plate, maybe. Um, I assume they would just push the mirror. Hang on, let's, let's just make sure we know what happens here. Yes. Oh, uh, wait, what? I think the eye attacked you. Oh! Somehow that worked. That was confusing. Okay, so wait a minute, wait a minute. Let me do that again. I step here. Eye attacks me. That doesn't move. If the eyeball initiates combat, the targeting thing doesn't move until the next turn that I move, and then it goes there. <laughs> so that's weird. Okay, well, this is a way to do it, it seems. Um, right, okay, so if I wait, then kill the roach, that lets me out. Okay, that is a solution. I took a bunch of hits. How did I do that? So I allowed you to initiate combat there. After in killing fact, that here. Well, in fact, when um, because the you allowed the eye to initiate combat, you only took the one hit from it, so... That, that feels like it may be the optimal solution. Yeah, because that's just one hit from one of these, and then this all works. That is... <laughs> I Probably unintended. Yeah, I hope this is not the intended solution, because this is horribly fiddly, and was completely accidental when I found it. But I'm just happy to have it working. Alright, cool. And I don't need to touch anything else. Right, so almost certainly unintended because it didn't use the Beetle Queen. I still don't get what she's for. Nor did it use the North Eye except as an um, annoyance. Yeah. Alright, well, that room's done. I'm going to make a hard save. <laughs> <laughs> um... Right, okay, so... 
It's weird that this exists, just to dodge this tiny little toll road here? I guess if you wanted to do this early or something. Hm. Right, so what's our status? 931 attack. Um, we're not ever going to do any better against adders. Uh, so the next thing is to gather as much health as possible, and we need keys. Mm -hmm. Alright, so these keys are all perfectly reasonable. Um, yeah, especially because the obsidian mocks it is free. Yep, I have to fight the Guardian oh. regardless, but that's fine. Troll Eye is also free. Yep. Oil Baby costs, what was it, 550? 550 is alright for two green keys, yeah, definitely. Yep, especially as we can't help it, there's no way to grapple. Right. No flippers in the hold. Um, boy, that'd be nice. <laughs> of. <laughs> it would be annoying if there were at yeah. this late stage, to be honest. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so green key count looks much better. Why will we have this many? Hmm. Okay, so maybe... Yeah, let's do this room now, because that gets us the yellow. Yeah, I have a recent hard save, so we can go back if this turns out not to be good. Alright, so Slime Man, you can stay there for now unless one yellow key would make more than 250 of difference. Adder. Uh, costs 450, I guess. This is a small profit. This gets a key. It costs more than the Slime Man's key. So I might as well just do this. Yes. Um, this is not happening. That would cost 400, interestingly. Okay. Oops, whoa, I don't want to do that. Um, okay, so, automatic watch is free. Slicer guard 250, Opticon 100. Huh. So That's definitely a, definitely a health profit. It is. So I guess we never did actually cross the threshold to make Opticons free. Somehow I thought we had, but I guess I was thinking of the... Um, um, Opticons from behind. Ah, uh, right. Patrol eyes, that's what they're called. Yes, them, them as well. But mm -hmm. yes, opticons from behind would be free. Alright, so these exist. I'm not sure I'm ready to spend this green key yet, but, well, we're not likely to do better than this, for example. We will almost certainly take both of these in the long term. This one is immediately better. True. And we have 6,800. We need 12,000. Uh, not... not... Yeah, so... Oh! No... We need 12,000 plus 3,000 for the What's It on All Nights. Exactly, yeah. I was just thinking, since we have that power gem now, we might as well get this done. See how much it's going to do. Because this has to happen. And can we <laughs> reduce it further? <laughs> Oh, yes, actually, and the Red Serpent would be a good way to do that, because it only costs 400, and it would save more than that. Costs 400 and a yellow key. Oh, but... right. Shoot. All right, are there any others? That's dead. There aren't that many yellow... Um, there aren't that many places where we can get large potions for several yellow keys. It looked like the, the ones that we know about are going to eat up green keys and a few yellows, but mm -hmm. not even all the seven yellows we have. Um, there was... Oh, I know why. I know why we ran short of yellows last time, because we got that power gem behind four yellow doors in the southwest room. Oh, yeah. And we've, cho we've chosen not to go for it, so that's that right. saves... That saves four yellow keys. Yeah, so this was definitely a very significant choice here. I didn't quite realize at the time how much it was. Um... Yellow keys do lock up a fair number of just little bits of health, like here, for example. Like, there are a bunch of structures like this that exist. Oh, and this room has another blue key that we need to get. Mm -hmm. Yeah, might as well do that now. Um, might as well not do this now, just in case we run into some more incidental attack. Okay, cool. We'll rem I'll, I'll, I've noted it down. 3220. Okay. Um... 
Yeah, so we got this last time, which also costs, well, a couple of yellow keys. Right, the whole idea of doing a low attack run was to not take things like that so that we can spend the keys on health instead. Right. Okay, so adders and stuff. Or adder and serpent. And nothing's going to help these unless we get 44 more, which are not. Oh, wait. 950. Oh, right, you're brained. Oh, yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. So 1050 for this. Let's get, let's get us a green key. Yeah, that was one of the reasons that getting over the adder threshold was so nice in particular. So 40 for you. And then, yeah, a green key might add up to more than 1050, or at least close to 1050. Right. Well, well, we can immediately trade the green and one yellow for 2,000, so... Right. Uh, that's a lot more expensive than some other options, like this, for example, so that's not one to take now. Uh, here are, here's a place to get more yellows, if those can come in handy, so that's good to know. Uh, this was another kind of expensive thing that we're able to avoid now. Yes. does have some it... health trades, but they're not great. And it's hard to get green keys at this point, and we need all the ones we can get, so... Yep. I sincerely doubt we'll have enough to be able to make this worthwhile, but it would be nice if we could. Uh, how much do these cost? So 500 each for a yellow key. Got it. Uh, and you are 800 for a green. Okay. Good to know. Uh, where am I going? So, places to get... So, probably the room with the Fagundo in it, I think. Yes, yes. We definitely need all the... Whoa, whoa. Ah, oh, shoot. Blood. Ah. I just took some dumb spider damage and then walked out of the room. Oh. So, that puts us back here. Oh, man. <laughs> Alright, well, that's not too much. Uh, it is some, though. So, maybe let's redo that on our own. Yes, I think so. Be right back. Okay, so we redid the stuff, I think, the same way. I didn't, we didn't check our stats before coming back, but uh, key counts look right, health looks approximately right, so that's probably what we did. Uh, made a hard save, so if we mess up again, we won't have to go back so far. So be careful <laughs> with spiders. <laughs> um, so this guy up here is being saved for later, but I don't think we're going to just incidentally get another power gem. Um, let's see. Rooms that contain power gems. This one contains one. It's... If two yellow keys couldn't get us as much as this could save over here. Um, How much damage are we looking at for the brained um, Opticon? Oh, right. That's brained, of course. 350. No, uh, not a huge amount. Yeah, but then slightly, that's... it would slightly increase the amount that we have to. Uh... The problem is it costs yellow keys. Yeah, so I think the number one priority is to get green bean keys because we need them for this room. Mm -hmm. Yep. Um... And room just to the east has almost certainly the cheapest one available. Uh, right. Okay, so... Oh, yeah, here. Okay, so this room. I remember doing it a few times. Um, just gotta check thresholds real quick. Slime Man's the only one who would have a meaningful one. Okay, so 7338. That's quite a lot of damage. Oh, you, you, um, you have to kill the Fugundo anyway, so it's not worth it to kill the oil baby. Oh, right. <laughs> So kill this one. So slime man. Uh, no, it was cheaper to kill the other um, seat thing because we're, we're not so uh, because we haven't crossed the 950 threshold in this universe. Oh, um, 
Wait, so Slime Man is... Oh, you're right. Okay. Somehow I thought those also did 250. Alright. Uh, might as well kill you, because you only hit me once. Okay, so that was... I think it was 73.38 we came in with. Yes, yes. So a loss of 1,300, but we get, get enough keys to get back 2,000, but... Uh, I don't know. Losing that much means that we're running out of available health. We need 15,000. I don't think it's possible anymore. Well, let's be sure about that. So, um, places to trade. There are still... S okay, so I know one room over here. Uh, for example, this trade seems worthwhile. Yes. So 750 for that. Um, this one might end up being, if we can get keys cheap enough... Whoa, hey. It's, it's unlikely, because there are other places to use single yellow keys. Sure, it'd be nice if we could get at these. But that's too expensive that's to get into. Alright, so, what are these other places we can use single yellow keys? I know one. I know one right over here. So that's 500. If we could get one green key, that's another 1,000, which still isn't by itself enough, even if we could get the key for free and not have to fight <laughs> this guy over here. Uh, right. So there's no trickery we can pull to kill this cheaper? No, there really isn't. Hmm. Alright. And that's the last blue key we need. Okay. Um, so the question becomes... Well, the question becomes, where do we spend keys to make this work the best? Uh, so Slime Man has one that costs 250 Not bad. Adder has one that costs, I think, 450 Um... Why are we looking for more keys? We've got three keys and we don't have anywhere to spend them. We need to be looking for more places to spend the keys on health. Sure. I guess I'm kind of thinking of several things at once. Um, so I think there's a yellow trade up here. No, that's green. Hmm. Okay, so another green. There are two greens for a thousand. Those both exist. These spiders cost a lot more than that. So those can never be worth it, I think. Oh, wait a second. Was I doing this a stupid way? No, you weren't. Two, because three, four, they, yeah. they, attack, they attack adjacent squares. There's there's no way to get it for less than five hits. Yeah. So it'd be that and this. It's one thousand hundred, which is more than a thousand, so it's not worth it. Yep. And those can't ever be made cheaper. Okay, so this is just a too expensive green key. Okay. So here's a place to dump keys and get stuff. If we had one more, we could do this. And this might actually end up being kind of worth it. Uh, how would that work out? Okay, so the cheapest... Sorry. All of, the, all of these things are only getting us a, a, a few hundred per key, if that. And we're... Over 4,000 in short. It's it's simply not possible. I want to check something before we say this is definitely impossible. Um, it probably is, but this could be useful information. Wait, hey, hey. <laughs> Don't do that sort of thing. So if I were to get... All right, quick save. Get one more yellow key. Forget about that damage. Let's just pretend it didn't happen. Um, I'm going to go by... <laughs> the key guarded by the Octagon would have been cheaper. Oh, you're right. Okay, well, sure. Since we're since we're trying to make this happen, so you're the cheapest right there. Well, I get two that way. That's fine. Yeah, okay, so these these aren't. So this would appear to be our cheapest source of yellow keys right now, which is nice. Um, sure, let's just try doing this. And then buying all of this. 
I might be crazy, but I just want to see before I do that. Um, I want to see what that does to the um, the guy on Ormites. So right now he's doing 2760. That went down. Why did that go down? I guess we got more attack at some point. How? Where? Because that was 3,000 some. We're, we're behind that. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Oops. Whoa. If only we could actually fight it from behind. Okay, so 3220 is the number. With this, that would change to... If I stand in front... 2760. Okay, so it only gets us over one. So that has saved 460. One more could save another 460. So, like, gathering more attack here is... <sighs> hmm. Still looks like it makes more sense. Um... Alright, so down to zero keys. So what's the next cheapest power gem? This one. Uh, maybe. So yellow key and 400. And I don't think there are any others in reach. There's, that, there's one more behind the second oil bay, bay. Um, Oh, you, you... Yeah, I mean, that's where you could get a key to get the one behind the serpent. Mm -hmm. So that's... But that's 600 total. Right, which is too much. Okay. Um, oh, hey, there's this. Eh, well, that's not great. No. <sighs> Okay, so let's say we didn't do this. Could we use those keys more productively? So, uh, 460 needs to be the value of... Well, that's four yellow keys, so... 115 on average? Uh, surely we can do that well. Okay, cool. So... Um... I just go by a... I know there were more like that. In the place with... yeah, here. Okay. Uh, is that all of them? I think all the others might be green keys, so green for a thousand. Green for a thousand. So now having done that, we can use the last two yellows to get the power gem in the room you're in now. Oh. That's interesting. Okay. Right, those are locked I mean, away behind this stuff. It's still only a tiny saving that won't help us, but... <laughs> okay, I'm pretty sure I looked at every room and there are no other places to get... Uh, to trade yellow keys for health. Unless we had opened up this room. Okay. So this will tell us how much we're short. I mean, we can't even do the boss if we could get to him now. Um, so this doesn't work. Man, that's too bad. And there were no... Hang on. Wait a second. Wasn't there a green key for 800? Yeah, green key for 800. So that gets another 200 health. <laughs> uh. Doing it anyway. Because that can turn into health over in a place like... Oh, I'm sure it's on the way. Ah, uh, not here. Alright. So this means we are just over 3,000 short. Just for funsies, let me see if I can get the boss down as far as I can. I mean, it wouldn't make sense for this to be a misleading number, like if anything changes. Oh, hey, wait. Something's hey, you have the wood. Oh. Oops. That 
silly. Okay, so back to Night Shield. I think I know a pattern that works. I still think this boss is kind of nonsense. Like, walk around until you find some random pattern that happens to let you get a hit in on him. It seems like how it works. I need to face to the west, and then do... not that. This. Wait, no, not that. Why specifically doesn't that work? I just don't understand these mechanics at all. Like, if I step here, I die because I'm in front of him. I get that. But there's something I can do to get a hit on him, like, in this pattern. What thing is that, though? It's just not happening, though. No? Ah. Yeah, so I can't test this quickly, apparently. Like, if I step here, what happens? I do damage him. That worked. Okay. Why did it work that time and not the other time? I don't get it. Like, I see that this is Sandy, so I can't step there. I can't step here because that would put me right in front of him. But sometimes it's inconsistent. So can I do this? Yes, that time it worked. But then stepping here kills me. Why? Is it because I'm... I don't know. I feel like I'm supposed to understand how these explosions propagate over multiple turns. But it's just such a bunch of nonsense patterns, just like, what even is this? So if I step here, grenade does funny stuff. Why did I die there? What what is killing me when I step here? It's nonsense. Ugh. This is frustrating. And I mean I know I'm not gonna win. Like, I can get one more hit on him, then he'll be at four thousand and kill me. Oh wait! Ah! I need more power! Okay, that's interesting. So at least the fight maybe changes now? Oh, hey, you're a different color. Nasty grenade. Interesting. Okay, well this is something new at least. We're still dead. Still what now? We're still going to die. Yep. I just want to see it happen, for some reason. <laughs> uh, uh, well, it makes a more satisfying ending than just leaving it. Sure, you know what I didn't do? Like, man, those explosions really are very loud. <laughs> there we go. Okay, got my last hit on him. Uh, all right, so that's how that is. Um, okay, so we're going to have to do some more major rerouting. I don't know if it makes sense to go back to the beginning of the 10th level or go back to something earlier. I've, I, I have been giving that some thought, and I think there are really on, only two, um, two places it makes sense to restore to. Uh, one would be the save um, in the room with the three brains, where we were considering making that choice. Mm -hmm. um, and but um, the reason I say here is not because of anything in this room, but because here we haven't yet done the northeast corner room, 
which was also a very expensive way to gain power. Yeah. Um, because I'm thinking that if we only need to finish with 929, then probably both of these rooms should just not be touched at all. Uh, so it's possible that not that doing that might um, might save enough or bring us at least closer to the target. Uh, if that doesn't work, the other thing that I think is worth trying is going back to one of the autosaves we made while we were doing cleanup in the seventh level. Mm -hmm. And in that room with the key cache, uh, take the power gem instead so that we can come into 10th level with all the attack. Mm, yeah. What that would do is two things. One is it would let us reach the crucial 900 threshold much sooner than we did. Um, so we'd save the health that we lost while aiming for that. And the other thing, of course, is it saves 1,000 on the double-brained Fagundo. Hmm. So those are two possibilities. Um, I, I have to say that I don't I don't feel happy about. I mean, if, if if that if that does end up working, then it just it just feels like that Fagundo is just punishing the player for not taking all of the attack that exists, and that seems very harsh when there were several choices between attack and something else that looked looked meaningful and now turn out not to be. Yeah. So this is the Fagundo you're talking about, right? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, we save uh, one hit from him, which was just over a thousand, if we have literally every power gem. Mm -hmm. So a place that I was thinking of restoring back to, which is even farther back than those others, is uh, just before we got the Night Shield, because knowing where it is, we could have saved a fair number of hits from that, but that's like way too far back. Right. I mean, I, I, I don't know about you, I think any of those three options, uh, if we do them, uh, we, it should be off camera. Sure, that seems reasonable. It would be go it would be going back through a lot of, um, uh, retracing our steps steps through a lot of territory we've already covered in, in our um, on camera deliberations and most of the little decisions along the way would not change. Yep. All right. Well, um, hmm. yeah, I guess we'll just have to figure that out in between recordings and uh, be back with whatever it is we decide. See you then. Goodbye.